everyone, this is an unboxing of the game Merv, The Heart of the Silk Road, produced by Osprey Games and designed by Fabio Lopiano, and with art by Ian O'Toole. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the game today, and we will see what's in the box. Sometimes I have this plastic taken off beforehand. I probably should have done that on this one, but it's okay. This one just got here. It's a really pretty box. I don't know if it'll catch that on video or not, but um, it's got a mix of the glossy and the matte. And I know this one has already been uh, catching some people's eyes because it is a pretty looking game. Okay, we have game rules here. Osprey is kind of uh, changed their focus a little bit in the last couple of years. They were historically a war game, um, mostly a war game company, but they, they've been doing a lot of different stuff lately. So this is uh, more of a Euro style game. Um, so it shows the components, set up, how to play a historical note about the city of Merv. Uh, lots of information there on how to play. Scoring phase, actions, Carrion's library, the mosque, the influence track, the wall, uh, two player, and also single single player uh, instructions. If you're into single player, which I will probably be playing first, and some credits. And there's icon guide at the end too, which is nice to see uh, as a reminder. Let's take a look at. Some of the components. These are beautiful looking components for uh, cardboard. <laughs> for cardboard components, they're, they're very nice. No problems there. With the first punch out, let's see what's up with the next one. Uh, no problems there. This gorgeous board. Just lots of color. Good size. Uh, about two by two. That's the board. Okay. Nothing on the back. And then big bag with tons of components. If you have lots of baggies, it's great to see. Throw that back in for now. Um, what are this? Some cards. Take a look at those first since they're by the they're lonesome. All right, so thin glossies, but actually they're actually nice, nice, they're fairly thick for a glossy card, so that's nice. Um, let's take a look at these cards. If I can get them open, and, uh, I can never pull the pull tabs on these, so oh. Looks like cinnamon there. Again, glossy cards, but they're they're actually pretty thick for a glossy card. Uh, maybe American Standard size, uh, American Mini Standard. Can't quite tell. Parking Mini. Can't quite tell it this second. I'm not good at saying what size cards are without measuring them. All right, and then the big bag of components here. Let's see. We won't get out every color meeple. But we have uh, some black, some yellow, some blue. Let's get these ones out. And there's one of each and a marker there. Nice, nice chunky meeples. And go back in. Uh, just markers, markers, blocks, and yeah, those are houses, looks like, of some type, there. Yep, yep, houses, um, red meeples, 
more red markers. Here's a fun maple. This is a camo maple. Those are fun. Okay, uh, orange cubes, uh, magenta cubes, uh, black houses, turquoise cubes, sand colored cubes. Okay, uh, some yellow markers. Uh, these are interesting. Uh, I forget what these are called. I do remember seeing these, but I forget what they're called. Um, and so we have, oh no, the bag broke. Of course. Well, I'm just going to rip it and then I'll get a new bag. Um, we have these uh, nice pieces here. Those nice pieces. Oh, a few of those. And then to go along with them, we have these wooden pieces here, which are not just rectangles. They, um, they actually have a, a slant to them, and then this piece on the top here. Um, I think they're walls. So there's that. This is Myrrh uh, by Fabio Lopiano, an artwork by Ian you know, O'Toole, published by Osprey Graves. Looking forward to getting this one to the table. It looks gorgeous, and the pieces are fun. Thanks for watching.